guys, Nels here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to put together a there's a dog hair. There's a dog hair. There's a dog hair everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to put together a Blocko Light FX Copter. Now, I got this from, I saw this sitting in the Dollar Tree, the Dollar 25 Tree, in their Dollar, like, Dollar Tree Plus section, I guess you could say. It was $5, as you can see. And it has, a, I guess, lights, and it morphs into three models. It's got 49 pieces. 47 building pieces and two LED pieces compatible with other building systems. So I guess it's compatible with Lego. Um, let's see here. Uh, requires four. Wait. Oh, it's included. I was about to say. Why are you telling me it requires these batteries? It's. <laughs> but it's included. Um, I'm not really seeing an age range. Like, you guys know I like to tell you the age rate. So we got the copper, copper, copter that it's going to turn into. And then we have the whirlwind and the vortex. So all, like, flight thingies. Like, this is the only thing I found at the Dollar Tree when I was looking. Because I was like, I want to see what kind of stuff they have. Now, I've dealt, I think, with Blocko before. And I think I like them. Um, I'm looking for age range here right now. I'm not seeing it. I mean, they have batteries, so you want to keep them away from small kids. I would say no younger than five. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, ages six and up. Okay, it looked like an eight. Okay, so yeah, I was right. Like, no, no younger than five, but like six and up. Because like, it does have those small little batteries. So we're gonna slice into this. I've been really excited about um, opening this. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do with it afterwards. Maybe I'll just leave it built and put it on the shelf or something. I don't know, cause like, I mean, if it does fit with Lego, maybe I could work it in um, to other builds or something, I don't know. But let's, let's see, let's see what's in the box. So it's a pretty sturdy box. So they got that going for them. Okay, nothing else in the box. This is it. This is, their pieces are really bright though. Like I love that. And then we got the instruction pamphlet. So let's see here. This is telling us how many pieces we can expect. Um, turn and light up. Oh, there's a little stick that we're gonna stick in to turn on the LEDs. Okay, and then, yeah, okay, so these are the three different builds. Um, they all look so similar. It's like, they do, they all look so similar. I want to use up all the blocks. So, let me look at the box real quick. So we got the Vortex. I don't even have it on screen. Okay, so we have the Vortex. We have the Cyclone. I thought it had it somewhere else. Okay, Cyclone and the Whirlwind. Um, the Cyclone and the Vortex look so similar. You know, I guess I'm just going to go with the Vortex since it's on the front of the box. I don't really feel like I need to build all of them to get my thrill out of this. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. This is probably going to be a really short video actually. Because, um, oh, or do I build them all? They're only 49 pieces, but it's going to probably be a pain to take these apart. And what if I snap them? I'll be really upset if I snap them, like, but they feel really, like, they feel really sound, you know? So maybe I could, okay, I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna get through one build, and if I feel like I'm gonna be able to do more, I'll do more. So let's go ahead and do our first build. All right, guys, so I got a build together. It's not bad. Um, 
it's not Lego. I will say that much. The spins, which is really cute. You have to be kind of delicate. Like, this part down here is so sensitive that once you get to, like, right about midway, it's, you have to hold on to the chunkier piece and start putting pressure on that to get your pieces connected. Because these just get falling out because, you know, there's no real support for them down here. And they don't click in super tight, but they're not loosey-goosey. Like, like, they're not, see, like, you really got to give it a good shake. But, you know, like, I was touching it. But, like, if I wasn't touching it, like, I'm really giving it a good shake here. So, it's not going to fall apart if you sneeze at it or look at it the wrong way. But it's not a tight, tight, super tight fit like Lego. But, for, you know, for the price, it's not bad. I love how bright and transparent these are. Like, now, I'm going to turn on the lights. Fair warning. If you have, like, any issues with flashing lights. Let me get this in. Like, you have to use this little tiny plastic piece to like turn it on let me see let me get it on and then I'll I'll do my spiel okay so I've got it turned on if you have any issues with flashing lights um look away or go to like the time I put on the screen to return back to my review all right in three two one here we go. This one is just a solid blue light. This one has a blue and red flashing light. They tell you what position and the directions to put them in. That's, I think that's really cute. I think that's a cute little addition. And like I said, you take this little teeny tiny microscopic like little piece of plastic and you stick it in. You see how it's got like cross like you, you line it up perfectly and you turn it to turn it on and turn it off. So it is not the easiest thing. So let me move this away so I can tell everyone to come back. It is not the easiest way. Hello everyone coming back. Um, I was just explaining how oh gosh, it's falling apart in my hand now. How hard you, know, you take this little piece of plastic and which I will show you once I get this off so I can put it back in the screen. It's not easy to do. And so, I don't know. Like, I can see you turning it on to show friends, but then afterwards, like, never turning it on again. <laughs> uh, I got one off. Turn, turn. All right, and I've destroyed the build a little bit to do that. These little bottom pieces just they, they just they just break off. They're not it's not stable. But um like I was saying to whoever didn't say this is the key to turning it on and off. And uh yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's a cool little concept. I I like that it's a cool little concept. I just wish it was like maybe a push button or something. I don't know. It's something a little bit easier. But this is cute. Um, I don't know if I want to do the rest of the builds. Because like I said, they look so similar. Uh, I didn't use all the pieces. I have one little piece left. But I'm sure there's a build that uses all the pieces. I just, I don't know. I'm not driven enough to want to go through this like two more times. You know, I'll leave that for the surprise inside for those of you that are interested. So that is the Blocko. Where's the box? <laughs> that is the Blocko Light FX Copters um, 3 and 1 set for, you know, morph morphs into three models. It is $5 from the Dollar Tree Plus section. Uh, I'm sure they have more models that you can pick up. I only saw the one, so you may have to hop around to different um, Dollar Trees to, like, 
basically pick up other ones, which I, I might do that just to see what other things they have. Now, let me try the one thing. Let me try the one thing that I know is probably on your mind because I know what's on mine. Let me grab something. I just got done with the advent calendars. Okay, so this little piece that was not used. Come on, zoom in. This little piece that was not used, zoom in. It's, it's wanting to zoom on you, sir. You're going to have to move. <laughs> All right, so I have a little, this is actual Lego. And it fits, it fits perfectly fine. Um, I'm tapping on it, it's not popping off. So yeah, it fits. Um, let's see here, do I have something else that we can, ooh, that was, that's a tight fit. It did not want to come off. Do we have anything else? You know what, I'll just randomly, I, we just got done with the Harry Potter set. <laughs> um, I'll just randomly put it on this table. You know, let me take off my new favorite thing, the little butterbeer or whatever it is. Here we go. So it is attached. It's, you know, I'm tapping on it fairly hard and it's not coming off. So it is pretty compatible. Look, it, 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 it was a little bit of a little wiggle wiggle struggle to like, you know, to get it off. So yeah, I, I think it's compatible with Lego like it said it is. Or uh, as they said, compatible with other building systems. So yeah, I think if you wanna add to your your building block collection, why not? Why not pick up a few of these sets? Like that's what I wanted this for because I love the color of the, the pieces. Like why, you know, why not grab this? And that's what I basically got it for. <laughs> <laughs> to like get the pieces because they're transparent that's why I want to go and get more if I can because I really like the colors they're so bright and vibrant and it's like that would be cool to have in some builds so yeah if you know you're looking for some like inexpensive building sets like this why not hit up the Dollar Tree I've seen them in five below um any of those little discount places in dollar stores like Family Dollar, Dollar General, stuff like that. Hit them up, see what you can find. You may find a little gem. So, Placo, yeah. I'll be looking for more of them. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this review. Um, I was excited to like bust into this and see what it's like and I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that maybe this answered some questions for you that you might have had like is it really compatible how strong are the pieces or you know what does the build look like when it's built it's not bad it's not bad for five dollars it's not bad and uh yeah that's it i'm gonna let you get back to your life and until next time everyone i don't know what my next video will be but i promise you'll be entertaining so i hope you'll come back and yeah till next week i hope you all have a magic wonderful splendid first day bye guys